Hey everybody, it's Liz here again. It's good to see you. I haven't been around for a while. I haven't, I've been in the middle of um, moving and I'm in my new kitchen, so I'm all settled in and ready to start doing tutorials again. So I've been um, asked like, I don't know, maybe a million times <laughs> to do a standing topper tutorial. So I've been promising and promising, so here it is, standing topper tutorial. And you may have um, seen the uh, sitting pregnant woman topper that we've done and over here I have a little standing gal and I'm going to show you how to do that not this one in particular but just you know how to make her so that you can apply this information to your own toppers you can use it for a guy topper you can use it for a girl you could do like any style you could make her like wearing leggings skirt so hopefully this information will like translate well and uh, you'll understand how to apply it. So I'm going to show you my tools that you need to gather and we'll get started. So the tools that you're going to need to do the standing topper um, are some cake pop sticks or lollipop sticks. You can get these at the cake store. Michael's, Joann's have them. I even think Walmart has them. They're just like paper lollipop sticks. Um, you're going to need some wire cutters to cut the, the sticks, um, an X-Acto knife, a couple tools for modeling. Um, these are the ones that I use. And uh, this is the one that I use to shape the head and the eye area. This is the one that I use to put the dimples in the mouth area. And this is the one that I use to add details and make lines and put in the mouth and that kind of stuff. So, But whatever you feel like works for you will be fine. You're going to need a little bit of shortening to keep your fingers moist from sticking. A little gum glue or water. Gum glue is just Tylos and uh, water mixed together. It's good for gluing fondant together. And some uh, powdered sugar. And then you're also going to need some fondant. So I have all my fondant over here. I color mine as I need it. This is some that I have left over. So this is just my LMF fondant that I make. You can see the recipe on my tutorials channel. And I'm just gonna color this into the pieces that I need. So like ivory, blue, brown for the hair, red for the shirt, and um, get those ready. And then I'm gonna put a teaspoon of Tylos powder into um, each chunk of fondant. So I'm gonna make about, a, I don't know, a half cup of fondant, about that much. A color and then add some Tylos powder to make it stiffen up and that helps it to dry. You can also use CNC powder um, and that's just that just makes it get harder. So um, let's start coloring our fondant and we can get started. So I've got all my different sort of uh, um, fondants ready here. I've got a red and a blue and like a turquoise color, ivory, black, brown, and then some white. And uh, I just wanted to say real quick if your fondant is not smooth um, then it it's just needs to be heated up a little bit and kneaded. And I always add a little bit of shortening to kind of uh, rehydrate it and just really pull it. This has the Tylos added to it, so it's, it's pretty um, firm and stable, you know. It kind of holds its own weight. Stand up like that. It doesn't droop over. So um, if your fondant is too soft, add a little Tylos. Uh, this is about a half cup, so you'd want to add about a half teaspoon. For something small like this, I just sort of dip it in the Tylos container and just add a little bit to it. So you'll, it'll take some practice to get the right consistency that works for you, but it shouldn't be cracking or have a rough texture. So just work this until it's nice and smooth. And then we're gonna put all of these into a Ziploc bag while we're working with them so they don't dry out. And you're also going to need a piece of styrofoam to um, work with your figures on. This is like a, a kind of a soft squishy styrofoam that I got from a packing place but um, any kind of styrofoam will do even like floral foam that you get from Joann's that will work just fine. Um, so uh, we will need that to put our support system in. The first thing we're going to do is make the legs. So you're going to need two of these lollipop sticks and we're going to get our blue jean material 
And the first thing to do is kind of decide about how uh, tall you want your person to be. Mine usually end up being about eight inches or so tall. You always make the legs um, taller than you think. So let's see here. Make the legs about two thirds of the person's height and their torso shorter. And that, that always just looks better. So I'm just kind of rolling this out into a long skinny rope. And I want this, the middle to be a little bit fatter because that's where the booty is going to be. And this is going to be our gal. So we want her legs to be skinny because girls usually wear like tighter jeans than guys. Or at least I hope so, unless you're emo and you wear skinny jeans, I guess. <laughs> no offense to emos. So um, I'm making this into a U shape so that this part will be the butt and this will be the legs. And I'm just kind of making sure the thicknesses are about the same size. And then I'm going to, let's see, especially down by the feet, I want that to be too thick. Cut that flat. Get rid of this. And then I'm going to um, take my stick here and just thread it through one of the legs. And the way I'm just going to hold this in my hand here and start at the bottom and just start, start putting firm pressure on the, the piece of fondant here and try and guide it up through the middle of the leg until it comes out the top. Just like that. And then I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. If this doesn't, if you don't get this the first time, don't stress. Just, uh, you know, start over, try it again. So now we're just going to define where the thigh and the leg area is going to be, about halfway through. And I also do like a little crease for the butt. And then I kind of push down the back thigh area. Zoom in a little bit here. push down the back thigh area so that the butt sticks out a little bit further. And then define where the, uh, the calves are. You don't have to do this part. I just like to. Just gives the legs a little bit more realism. by defining where the calves are and things like that. And then I usually flatten out the bottom. Helps, helps it lay on top of the shoes a little bit better. So you should have something that kind of looks like this. Get like legs defined, both kind of the same length. Poke two holes into our styrofoam to make sure that the legs are going to fit in there, okay? Figure out how you want them to stand. And then we're gonna make some shoes. I'm just putting a little bit of gum glue right against the, the bottom there. And get a little bit of my white. And I make shoes pretty simple. Just take a small piece of fondant, make it into an oval shape, like a bean shape. I make a mark for where the heel is going to be. And then I do the same thing to the other side. Try and make the shoes the same size. Make sure you put these on front side. Just 
push that over the end. Like that. Like that. And then our, shoe, our hole is already ready. So we're gonna put it just like that. Just into the point where the shoes are touching and we're gonna let this dry. We don't want to be messing around with this and trying to build up a body while it's um, while it's wet and soft because we'll squish the legs and we want the legs to not be short and stocky. One thing I will do is just um, I will t insert another oh, another one of our popsicle sticks just right up into the torso area while this is still soft. I don't need it to be quite that long. Put a little gum glue here. And I'm just gonna put that right there. And it might kind of thin out the top here to start the beginnings of a waist. And I'm just going to um, trim off this extra because I don't need that. Um, if you want to add details like lines on the side of the jeans or like crease lines for the back, now is the time to do it. Maybe some little like pocket marks. All these little details and things just add to the finished product. Little zipper line maybe, kind of define where the crotch is. So that's it. So we're just gonna let this dry for a few hours or overnight. Overnight is always safest, but if you're impatient and you put enough Tylos in there, a few hours should be good. So we'll be back and we'll finish the top part of our standing topper. Okay, so our legs are all dry now. They're nice and firm, so nothing's gonna squish down. And we're gonna go ahead and start adding our next layer, which is gonna be the shirt. So we're just gonna take a piece of fondant and work it so it's, you know, nice and smooth. And if you have these little cracks in there, this is just from it getting dried out. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of shortening, and just work that in there. And it's just gonna rehydrate our fondant. Okay, so our legs are nice and firm. And we're gonna start making the shirt. And I've got a blue that I'm going to use. I'm just gonna make sure you can see this nice and well. And I'm just going to, I've got a, just a little bit of, of um, fondant and some Tylos powder in a cup. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of Tylos powder. It's not a specific amount. It's just enough to kind of make the fondant feel a little bit firmer. And uh, add some strength to it. But if you add too much, your fondant's gonna start cracking and getting dried out on that. We don't want that. Roll it into a sphere, just like that. Get all the lines out and then flatten one side of it. Just putting pressure between my palms. And that's kind of her body shape. And then I'm going to use my large ball tool to make an indentation of where her body is going, like this part of her hips and stuff, we want her shirt to fit over that. So we're going to use our ball tool to make a nice big hollow shape inside the shirt so that it fits naturally over. And I put a little gum glue on her jeans so that it sticks. Push that all the way down. And I'm just going to make sure it's even all the way around. And push in, because she's a girl, I want her to have a little bit of a feminine figure. So I want her to have a little bit of a waist. You're always kind of working from the bottom up with figures. You don't ever want to be working on stuff up here before you finish this stuff down here 
because then it's just gonna get all smashed down and messed up. So you start at the bottom, get that where you want it to be, and then work your way up to the top. I'm gonna just give her a little boobage. Just kind of shaping with my fingers here just to define. And I'm just pushing towards. If I push up towards, up towards the center, that guides the fondant to where I want it to be. So if you want something to be pointy, like a nose or a boob, then you just push towards where you ever you want the fondant to go. So now she's got some boobs. And then this is where her her shoulder is going to be. And her other shoulder. Just take as much time as you need to kind of get her shaped the way you want. Just like so. And then we're just going to use our ball tool to just flatten each side to make a place for where her arms are going to attach. 